Hi, this is Morley and this is the MWire. In this video, we are going to look at some breaking news. The circuit court judges have been reassigned. In Michigan, we have Justice Kavanaugh. In Wisconsin, we have Amy Coney Barrett. In Pennsylvania, we have Samuel Alito. And in Georgia, we have Clarence Thomas. Thank you to my new subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so, as that would greatly help out the channel and fight the censorship. This is absolutely huge news, folks. If it comes down to it, these judges will decide the fate of these electoral votes in these respective states. And of course, the mainstream media is not reporting this whatsoever. This is a nothing burger as far as they are concerned. That's because they are completely anesthetized with what the mainstream media has already been telling them, that Joe Biden, for all intents and purposes, is the president-elect and that's official. Well, it's not. I'm so here to tell you. I even checked on Twitter to see if anyone's reporting this, and there's nothing there. Like, there, people are not talking about this whatsoever. And obviously, this person here is, shares my opinion. So what exactly is the mainstream media going to do should the election be overturned and Donald Trump actually is the rightful president-elect of the United States? Are they just going to print a little blurb at the bottom that says that he is the president-elect and carry on as usual? They can't do that. Their credibility is gone. Fox's ratings is in the tank. Fox's ratings is approximately 50% of what it was before the election. That's how, how far they've fallen. People like me are going to be your news outlets, folks. You can take that to the bank. The credibility of the mainstream media is gone. If a small YouTuber such as myself can report this story more accurately and more honestly then the mainstream media that has billions of dollars behind it, by the way, don't tell me that they don't have some sort of agenda. Please, don't, don't even go there. If that's not true, then why is CNN for sale then? Can anybody answer me that question? At this point, we should all be hoping and praying that this does actually go to the Supreme Court because that will certainly bode well for Donald Trump. If this goes to the Supreme Court, I'm going to say right now, there is no way that Trump does not win this election. Not because these are conservative judges that are going to be overseeing this case, but they will look at the evidence. And there is a lot of it, despite what the media says, where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Well, it's all it's everywhere. Where isn't the evidence? Let's put it that way. I want to talk a little bit about Dominion voting systems. They were supposed to appear in court on Friday, uh, but they did not, and they lawyered up. Is that consistent behavior with somebody that has nothing to hide? I'm not a behavioral psychologist, nor do I pretend to be, but that just is not consistent behavior with someone that has nothing to hide. It really isn't. I mean, let's look at this on a personal level. If you had a friend that you wanted to speak to about something that, say, happened at a social gathering, and you asked to speak to them, and their immediate response was, I don't want to talk about it, would, would that instill confidence in you that uh, they're not guilty of whatever you wanted to talk to them about? I don't think it would. According to Sidney Powell, Dominion Voting Systems is essentially packing up its office in Denver, Colorado, as well as Toronto, Canada, which has also occupied a Soros entity on the same floor. Once again, this is not consistent behavior with somebody that has nothing to hide if they're packing up and, and moving to wherever they're going. Sidney Powell also said that they have seized a server in Germany uh, with, the, with the election results. What are we doing processing election results in a foreign country? Do you see anything wrong with that? You should. This whole thing just stinks. I mean, Hugo Chavez used Dominion voting machines to swing the election in Venezuela. That's a fact. Apparently, on the user manual of Dominion voting machines, I tried to find it, but I couldn't find it. It actually says that 
that their algorithm is designed to sway elections, essentially. That is very damning evidence, folks. I don't especially care for the way that the media has attacked Trump's legal team, particularly Rudy Giuliani. Whether you agree with him or not is irrelevant, but he's been a lawyer for 50 years. He's been the mayor of New York City, and he's also worked on some very, very high-profile cases. That certainly commands a certain degree of respect. It's just ridiculous how the media has not only ignored the parts that they want to ignore, but they, they're, they're attacking the people involved at their leisure. It, it's like it's some kind of sport. But then, then again, that's just what they do. They ridicule people and make money off of it. As far as the timeline of this case is concerned, I think uh, Jenna Ellis said it best at Giuliani's press conference. This isn't just like an episode of Law and Order where you solve the case in an hour. This is going to take a bit of time and we all need to be patient with it. Thank you very much for coming along to my video. Please subscribe. Please help fight the censorship. Please share the video as no one else is reporting on this. And God bless.